Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome back to tutorial number 29 and in this video I just want to speak to you guys about submitting a form, okay? So in the previous tutorial I did say that we were going to start some form validation but I decided before we move on to that you guys should probably just understand fully what submitting a form means and how we're going to use that in JavaScript okay so let's just start off by putting a form onto our web page so starting form and ending form okay and there are two attributes that are actually compulsory to have on our form we need to have them every time and the first one is the action which is uh, basically where do I want to send the information I get from this form where do I want to send it to okay and this is gonna be like another page on our website okay preferably something that's written with some server-side code okay so in other words it can't be a dot HTML file okay like uh, it can't be another page dot HTML because okay let's say another page was another page on our website if it was a dot HTML file it wouldn't be able to do anything with the values that we sent to it okay so we'd actually uh, you know it would be pointless but if it was something like a, a dot PHP file then we'd be able to actually read the data that we sent to it and uh, actually do stuff with the data, save it in a database or something like that, whatever. Okay, so that's what the action does. Okay, then we've got another attribute called the method. And the method is basically all the data that we get in the form, how do we want to send that data to this page okay so uh, one way is by using the get method okay and what the get method does is it sends the data up as part of the URL and then the post method uh, sends it as a separate page but I'll explain this uh, in a few seconds let's just add some uh, information in our in our form so let's just put in some input uh, types here or input elements okay so let's make a login page where we can fill in our information and then click like a button that says login and see if we can log in okay so let's just start off with uh, obviously a username and then we're also gonna have need a password and then we're going to need a button over here that says like submit or log in. Okay, so we'll uh, put in an input of type text for the username so that they can type in their name. And we'll give this a name of username. Okay, and I'm going to end that off just like that. And then I'm going to copy this, paste it down here. Okay and for the password I'm gonna give it a type of password and I'm gonna give it a name of password as well and down at the bottom over here I'm gonna put in another input element but this one is gonna be type submit and then the value we can set to uh, submit or actually let's set it to login okay so the value is just basically whatever appears on our button okay so now when I go ahead and I run this in Firefox okay you can see that I've got this form over here and right now it's asking for a username which uh, we could go ahead and type in my name didn't spell it right okay and then the password like I'll just go ahead and say pass one two three or something okay and uh, now when I click this button okay 
what will happen is we're going to send the, that information that I filled in, so this information over here, to another page.php, which actually doesn't exist. I haven't made it yet, so we're going to get a bit of an error showing up on our web page. And we're going to send it using this method called the get method. Okay, so let's go ahead and click login. And just like I told you, the page doesn't exist, so Firefox is giving me a file not found error, but that's okay. Okay, so let's just look at the URL over here. And like I told you, the get method sends the data that we filled in up in the URL. So right now, if we look in our URL, we've got this file, which is basically where on my computer this uh, file or that is located or where this uh, computer is looking for this file okay then the page that we're supposed to be on is called another page.php which doesn't exist so that's why we get this error but at the end here we've got this uh, question mark and then we've got the username which is set to Quinton and password which is set to pass w123 so I, I added in a w by accident but hey okay so that's basically how we send information using the get method it gets added on to the URL so by the way if this web page was on a live server then we wouldn't get all of this information up here we just get www dot uh, whatever my website name is so like programmers creed or something programmerscreed.com slash another page dot php whatever uh, this information is here okay so that would be like uh, that's my domain this is the web page we're on basically and these after the question mark over here these are all the uh, well that's all the information that I tried to send to the server using the get method Okay, so that's one way of submitting data. Then I told you that instead of using the get method, we can also use the post method. So let's go ahead and save this. And uh, I actually just want to close that. And we'll run this in Firefox again. Okay, so now we're using the post method. So when I go and I fill in uh, the exact same information, so pass123, and we click login, now when we look at the end of our URL we don't have that question mark with the rest of uh, the values anymore okay and that is because whenever you send information using post it sends the information to the server separately to uh, the um, when we're just trying to go to the page so it doesn't go in as part of the URL in fact, we can't even see the information when we use post. So post is the more secure method if you're ever trying to deal with passwords and uh, banking or something like that. But uh, if it's something simple like a search engine, then uh, you'll find even if you go to Google, um, when you start typing your information in here on the web page Google, uh, so I don't know, let's just say cars, then when you click search, you can see that it's actually added in Q, which is your question, set to cars, okay? So if it's just something like a search engine, then you can go ahead and use the get method, but if it's for passwords and things like that, then you use the post method. So quite simple. And that's actually everything I've got to say about how forms work or submitting forms so thanks for watching guys and don't forget to check out the next tutorial where we'll be working with some form validation and until next time thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe please leave a comment and like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one